today i am tired Whew, i am so exhausted let me tell you let me tell you i just thought let me just randomly shoot this video first let me try and zoom myself out why am i so pleased anyway uh, forgive my hair <laughs> this is the best i can do today anyway whew, it's been a week for me of nanny no nanny and honestly i'm so exhausted i wouldn't lie to you i'm exhausted exhausted so today i want to just unbox a, a couple of packages yeah that i have gotten for mother's day for activations on instagram clearly i'm so distracted and then i saw my share butter lying around which you should try it's called um buttered by hnd organics i shared it in my favorites smells so good bubble gum i couldn't resist guys sorry so interrupted this is the only time you know when you're mothering and you're seriously into the thick of things you even forget to brush your teeth yeah so if you see me just know i'm tired anyway so today i want to unpack with you guys some of the PR packages that I have received. Um, some brands have sent um, in collaboration with me as just Maggie to tell you guys that they have these amazing packages which you can share with your moms. Guy Aki my Kitamba looks so bad. Anyway, that you can share and you can send your moms. And I thought, let me just do this a short video and not overthink things. And as I unbox, let me just share the candid conversation on motherhood that very few people talk about <laughs> in this channel keep it real keep it real yeah so i really want to take you through some of these products because i really appreciate when brands you know send you packages that are really well thought of and i don't take it for granted that someone can you know send you something from their um from their business uh, for you to review for your followers so this is just a bonus i've just decided let me unpack on youtube <laughs> And you guys can check them out if you're looking for a last minute mother's day gift imagine mother's day is every day but tomorrow is mother's day now if you're watching this video on sunday it's mother's day and yeah it's a good time it's a good time for you to actually you know appreciate your mom if your mom is alive appreciate your mother figure i know this day can be very triggering for some people um and i i I have been in a place where I was triggered by Mother's Day. That is the first Mother's Day after my miscarriage. I really didn't know what to feel. Are you a mom? Are you not a mom? You know, you're told you're still a mom, but when you've not experienced the joy of carrying a child in your arms, it's still very blurry, especially with miscarriages when you lose a baby like earlier on. It's very confusing. I think I was very confused as to what to feel on my first mother's day after my miscarriage. But it's been a blessing and an honor to celebrate consequent mother's days as a mom. Previously, I celebrated my mom, but now I'm celebrating it as a mom is actually a plus and I really love it. And it's a blessing and an honor. And even though I'm going to share like just having a candid conversation of the struggles probably that i've been going through this week please don't forget that i still appreciate it and find it a blessing and an honor to be a mom so it's not that i'm complaining no it's just normal <laughs> it's normal to feel overwhelmed and that's the goal of this conversation is to normalize it for anyone especially for moms who are watching on sunday you know sunday is when mothers are overwhelmed because most uh, nannies here in kenya if you're watching from kenya take their day off on sunday mine takes the whole weekend off but this particular week we give her, i give her um off for the week because she had to take her child to form one and it's been a while since she saw her child and because it's so far we decided that she just comes now on sunday so she's gone from tuesday all the way to sunday and honestly <laughs> i can't wait for her to come back and i'm praying that she comes back because she's a really really good nanny i think god gives the gives our nannies when you have a good nanny the grace to do this job because my nanny really complains that she's tired like she she does her job with so much zeal my son loves her 
she just i think god gives enough grace for whatever job you do me as a mom i'm feeling overwhelmed because i have things to do and then i have mothering to do and now because my nanny is not do I have house chores to do so there's a whole load well i've gone right into the candid conversation before unboxing anyway there's a whole load of mental and physical fatigue that i have endured and i am honestly very tired way first of all um, my son was going is going through the 18th month regression um he's a good sleeper generally but now from the time he went to shags with my mom and coming back he's been a, a little bit uh, clingy in, in terms of he wants someone to be there for him to sleep because you see when we're in shags we can't just um leave him because the bed has no like guard grill so when he's sleepy either someone would sit there or someone would sleep lying next to him and then he would just sleep and he would sleep very well but um for me i sleep train my son so that he can be able to just fall asleep independently all the way to the point of not even needing someone but the 18th month regression comes with a lot of social um no separation anxiety so it's been a challenge he just does not want to fall asleep alone and especially the fact that we went to shags and then we came back and uh, he fell sick so when when he's sick and he needs us more we are fully present then when he's better now we go back to our routine he usually bounces back but this time my son would scream if i leave him in the room so that um entirely meant that i either lie next to him or yeah, lie next to him and then he'll just sleep. But it's not sustainable because then that means every time he wakes up, I will have to do that. And personally, I love sleep. All mothers just need sleep. I would like to you. You tell a mom, what do you want to do? Sleep. I <laughs> not sleep. Anyway, so I decided to re-sleep train um, so that he can learn to be a bit more independent when it comes to sleep. And... It's going on well. Today is day two. I decided to do it yesterday. I've been deciding and then I failed because the screams get to me. So yesterday I started and it took a long time to fall asleep. It took like 40, 45 minutes. But I, I'm just doing the chair method, the way we sleep trained. There's a sleep training video I've ever shared where I sit next to him and I sit next to the cot or the bed, his crib, and then I wait for him to fall asleep. He cried and cried and then... He didn't cry so much like the other days where I used to walk away. So just sitting there and reassuring him that it's okay was good. I worked until he woke up at 3. Um, which again brings me to the next thing. I, dis I discovered now, I was like, hey, he, the whole of last week he didn't have night wakings. But this week he's had, it's like he knows how huh? my parents are on duty alone. <laughs> eh. So I discovered his molars are also coming because he keeps doing this and this. So it's like when he has another ear infection, because me I'm traumatized from ear infections. But then I realized he also takes his bottle and takes it to this end and just bites bites. So I discovered where well, probably his molars are coming. So ever since I started using the um Ashton, his sleep has progressed well. Yesterday he woke up but he took a while to go back to sleep and i think the issue was it was very cold it, that room is so cold that's why i overdress him to bed so tried to cover him up and sit there again and he took like one hour he was trying to fall asleep but there was something i don't know anyway today he's down for his nap um i sat in the room and at least i sat for 10 minutes and he was asleep he cried for first two minutes i reassured him and i pick him up and put him back down that method and that worked i hope it works out at night yeah wow that's a lot of ranting <laughs> i'm not ranting but that's just candid of how tired i am um i've been trying to work from home and also work on my house and then be there for my son and be there actively when he's doing his sensory things we've been doing a lot of sensory things this week where and we've not taken him out as much which usually makes me feel so bad but the weather was so bad his cold was not going away and so the doctor told me to stay indoors for at least two days and voila it worked wonders he's not having congested our nose anymore so that staying indoors has really helped our place is cool um i recently introduced the propolis suspension which i get from the national beekeeping institute on gong road i just love this 
the police and we'll be even see it anyway and um they told me this is appropriate for one year old and above so i've been giving him at least two times a day sometimes once and there's a change man he was getting congested his cold was not going away 10 days later i'm not a firm believer of antibiotics <laughs> my son was sick in hospital and antibiotics were pumped too much so i was not ready to start any antibiotics so i decided to keep him warm stay indoors that means i have to give him all my concentration because toddlers <laughs> where well, toddlers will humble you or will follow you everywhere and also keep him keep his brain engaged when the sun is out we take a walk and go out and everything yeah so today is like day day four since my nanny left tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday day five wow survived <laughs> and um i just wanted to t tell people it's normal to feel overwhelmed as a mom and it's okay to say by the way i need my nanny or i miss my nanny or my nanny is going and i'm feeling uh, anxious a little bit because when i said that on my instagram someone told me oh you should learn how to be very independent of nannies um, because why is your heart palpitating and every that it's just a comment that made me feel like I'm not allowed to say by the way when I don't have help <laughs> I get overwhelmed and I don't know how but I don't know how people in the States and UK survive because nannies are very expensive so most people just survive without and I know there's daycare and everything but here in Kenya nannies are a very integral part of most families mine included they are a very integral part of my sanity because motherhood for me was heavy it's heavy it's a lot it's a blessing but it's also a lot when i don't have help trust me my husband says i become a mamzilla <laughs> because i become so tired you're needed every time my child is still at a stage where he really needs me <laughs> so that being needed every time and you have things to do and you're thinking of supper and thinking of food and thinking of cleaning and thinking of so many things where me I get tired me I get tired so normalize allowing your friends to say they're just tired or they're anxious that their nanny is leaving or it's normal it's normal no one should make you feel like eh, wait, wait, um, una no please some of us our mental health depends on help when it comes to the house normalize it let's just normalize it and make it okay for people to say they're overwhelmed end of my rant that was just the candid conversation that was on my mind because guys i am tired yeah because just to find finish <laughs> okay, i'm not finishing <laughs> i'm so tired because my mind is overdrive because i think i need to work personally my work depends on me being there if it's content creation it's me creating the content if it's the company we run with my husband sometimes i am physically needed so that i can make more money so of course this week i have not made a lot of money because i have not gone to work um other than my salary like i there's a day rate that you know i need to also i work so hard so that um i can get the best out of every month and be able to live a good life so some of those are some of the things that make me really anxious that wow well, my nanny is going i'm not gonna be able to be optimum at my work which i love or i'm not going to be optimum as a mom because i snap once in a while when i'm tired I'm, i really snap we're having the conversation on discipline on instagram and who people have very intense opinion on whether to spank your child or not um i think my child does not yet understand sometimes he does especially when he touches the gas i do this um and that one he kind of does I, I don't want to let him get burnt going to learn that lesson it's gonna be very scary but um generally um in the world of tantrums i just like to let it pass you know be firm if you're doing something wrong i take away that thing if he's pouring water which he does now everywhere i will take it away he will t throw a tantrum i might just tell him no it's wrong and everything and then give him time to settle and then he'll come back yeah so well that's enough let's unbox some of these packages guys because i am so excited i have enjoyed some of them already 
if you follow me on instagram i have been unboxing them um so the first one i will show you is this one this one i got from a brand called afro mist design they sent me this beautiful gratitude jar oh my god in a time when i was feeling overwhelmed this reminded me to just put in a thankful note for what you know the day can be very heavy so you can forget to be thankful for little things like how my son plays and laughs it's so cute yeah so those are some of the things i hope to fill this jar with because it is amazing and imagine it's a gratitude one and it has my name down here it has my name and then it has cards inside which um now you give someone if you gift someone they can write inside like things they're grateful for and put inside it's such a thoughtful gift to give so i would love to thank them if they're watching this and they sent me this key holder um motherhood a never ending infinite love love it this one i have to be the one to hold it if i give my husband this one will break so um, they want why am I giving my husband and it's motherhood? Yeah, I have to put on my personal keys. That's what I meant. So that it doesn't break. So that was from Afromist and Designs and Crafts. So check them out on Instagram. They have customized jars and beautiful things, customized gifts that you can gift your loved one. The next one, which just arrived, is from Tuli Brand. Tuli Brands have sent me this. Tuli Brands on IG. First of all, they're sending flowers. Oh my god! They're sending flowers, which I can't wait to put in a vase. Oh my god! <sighs> Since I became a mom, I love flowers. Before, I didn't. I will admit, I didn't. So Tuli Brands have sent me flowers and um, also sent me this package, which clearly I'm unboxing from here. Though I know. I should be unboxing on Instagram. Um, wow, I haven't opened. I'm so excited! Wow, ha! Huh. Let me just change the angle of the camera because already this smells really good. So we have Mother's Day cards. Ah, my God. The message couldn't be more timely. I know it can be hard to get up every day and have these little people rely on you. How true is that? <laughs> I know it's hard to feel like sometimes your world is so small and to remind you, you, you are the world, you are the world, that those little ones revolve around you are their nature, their home and their comfort. You are everything to them. I hope even on your hard days, you know how special you are especially to your little people from Tuli Brands we like to say well done mama and introduce you introduce to you a brand that we like to bring your confidence everywhere you, where you go wearing our pieces happy mother's day yeah that quote is very timely oh wow 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 i did not see this coming i have a gift voucher for 7000 expiring on 8 august happy <laughs> I am dancing. I know you can't see, but I am dancing. Then we have jewelry. Oh my god! Oh my god! Jewelry set. Oh, to just Maggie, you are a queen. These are people who can make you cry on days that you're so overwhelmed. Then we have what is this? Oh my! It smells so good. I think this is something for scents. Hmm. I should check the message they sent me so that I know what this is. Just let me pause. So I just checked and these are called bath bombs. Ah, huh, I guess they are for sense. I will research and put them <laughs> the use there. Then we have a mask. Yay, a brightening and hydrating charcoal mask. Let me tell you, I'm planning to escape to an Airbnb and I will properly use these face masks. Oh my God. This is such a thoughtful gift. Thank you, Tuli Brands. Your girl needed all this. Your girl here was just so overwhelmed. And then Tuli Brands happened. Let me tell you, I am happy. My heart is full. Anyway, just make sure you check Tuli Brands because 
Wow, that was very thoughtful. Tuli Brands is a woman-owned fashion business that locally produces its pieces. So it's a local brand. So make sure you check them out. So my son just woke up. You blink and they're awake. So I have to take a pose and uh, give him a snack. We are having yogurt and banana. So he's really grumpy. Not grumpy, but hungry. My son is not patient or hungry. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me just feed him. I'll be back. This is what we're having. unbox this other package i'm here with my child hi guys let's unbox this package i am filming for both instagram and youtube how hard is this this lighting for instagram is horrible so let me just try and use my back camera and hope that it's okay so i'm going to unbox this package yeah i'm going to unbox this one here that I got from Lawaju Enterprises. Oh my God, it's a beautiful, big Mother's Day package. Mother's Day package, yeah. Let's see what's in this package. They have different packages this Mother's Day and each package has different costs. This is like three, five. Imagine getting your mom this set, especially if your mom is a baker. You want to get this set. Hey, young man, stop it. Hey, so I was given this package by Lawaju and I just wanted to show you guys what is inside here because imagine all these things for 3-5. If your mom loves the kitchen, ha, like I do, like I love baking and everything baking, ha, hot, hot stuff here. So we have a butter dispenser. I have a hand mixer here, guys. Next, we have a baking tree. And then we have a set a three piece yeah. cake mold. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. And look at this. My baking career is starting. You're not ready for the baking content, are you? Uh, spoon yo. Silicone cooking. Exquisite silicone cooking set. And then we have measuring cups. I'm telling you, you guys are not ready for my cooking career, are you? Because I'm coming now, buyer. We have this. Just bring your children over because you're making a lot of cupcakes soon. There'll be a lot of baking in my house. So, and they also, um, they have a page called Lawaju Households. Um, Lawaju also has this Lawaju Beauty, this Lawaju Households, but this one is from Households. So if you're into household things like I do, I'm trying to see how I can renew my kitchen and sitting room and things like that. You know, I want like a theme in the kitchen, a black and red kitukayo. Check Lawaju um, households on Instagram. I believe this is a good set for 3.5 and it's not too late to order. Just go check out what different packages they have, reach out to them and they're gonna deliver for your loved one. As to show you this guy, this guy size me cakes have made my week. You know when you're a mom and you're feeling overwhelmed, all you want is hot chocolate or chocolate at the end of the day. Nimekula chocolate. Na kama mmeniona, nafa kumdiji mkasa. Wooo, because a girl is losing, is out of control. I think I'm ready 
to go back to the gym that's another conversation i was in a deep rut and i just think now i'm kind of totally ready for gym and everything starting next week i'm gonna reach out to the trainer but says me send me two packages one was a cake which mini shamaliza but i'll insert you i insert the picture or video we ate with my friends who passed by this week you know when someone comes and sees your mom and washes the dishes here and then they decide to cook ah my cousin touched my heart and my friends who passed by and did that because man I, I was overwhelmed so anyone who passed by and helped me had a piece of that cake so to my maliza and it was chocolate meat it was tamu but this is the package here that i have half of it is eaten i have to admit but half of it mm -mm. Sorry, sorry, baby, your heart. So we have hot cocoa here. Let me tell you, I have made this hot cocoa. <laughs> I'm not going back to eating in restaurants. Mimi ni jipate. This is what hot chocolate should taste like. I have made it today. I, I, I was in heaven. You just have to find out for yourself because me, I was in heaven. Then we have this tea here. Me, I love teas. I mean, to like sweet tea uh, apple and cinnamon chamomile tea is only tunzuri i love so this is fennel nutmeg and honey bush kind of remind, reminded me of breastfeeding when i see the word fennel so yeah i i can't wait to be unwinding with this i love um, unwinding with like some tea not kenyan not majani but this very good tea then we have chocolate here which is dark tiramisu flavor this is the one I've, I've been eating today and then we had a different chocolate so strawberry maybe nilisha maliza and then we had cookies nilisha maliza it's been a stressful week so i find myself stress eating a lot guys i think that sums up the packages that i've gotten this week i think that sums up this video my child wants my attention i think it's a wrap guys um I really have to give the boy attention and then I need to go outside. Uh, yeah, I really hope that you've uh, related with this content. Happy Mother's Day for all moms out there. Um, I wish you a really good one. May you know that you are seen, you are loved, and uh, you are valued. Happy Mother's Day, guys. Bye. Mwah.